Hello, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. I am speaking with this uh, probably quite offensive British accent right here because I've got a little bit of an itch in my throat, so I got me a, a nice glass of tea here, and I'll stop doing that accent <laughs> now um, before I offend anyone else. So welcome back to Wind... Wind World? Rim World, everybody. Um, and uh, so far, how did things go last time? Things went very well. We we didn't have anything too eventful take place. Uh, we, like, we, some resources crashed down from planets, if I remember correctly, but nothing all that exciting in, in the way of, uh, survivors or raiders even came down to try to attack us, so that might be coming before too long. But we do have our nice sustainable home go growing right here. We do have a, quite a lot of squirrels and bomb rats chilling down by our gardens. I don't really like that. I wish they would kind of leave, but... You know, well, what, what piece of research are we working on? Uh, the, the, okay, the nutrient paste dispenser one. I think, looking back at all this, I probably should have gone for, uh, hydroponics. So we could work on making an, an inside garden. Or, uh, not an inside garden, more, more of an inside, um, farm. So we won't have to rely on our one on the outside, and I believe... Uh, farms that you have inside of your homes are not affected by blights or anything like that. We have two colonists who are idle, so let's uh, give them something to do. Um, Tentacle Fan, my good friend Tentacle Fan, he's been helping me out with a lot of stuff. He showed me like a photo of a base he's building, which looks freaking amazing. And uh, he gave me some pointers. For one, he was like, yo, Brendan. Uh, you're, like, crazy in love with the solar generators. You might want to, like, calm down. Like, stop. And I was like, but man, that that's all I know. It's all I know and love. Like, he was he was telling me to go ahead and give the give a try with, um... Is it a geothermal generator? What are they called? Yeah, geothermal generator, which fits right, uh, right ahead on these things. Only problem is, I want to... I'd want to put one of those near my base, and I've built my base so far away from it. So we'll have to think about that. We'll we'll try to aim for that goal. Basically, how he described it was they're like ten times better than uh these solar generators are, and they work one hundred percent of the time, produce more energy, and you don't have to wor worry about um a solar eclipse or anything along those lines. What happened here? Oh shoot! We got our first raiders. That's an oh no! I meant to click to see where they landed. Here, let's zoom out so we could get a good eye on this. They must have landed down here because of the fire. Oh, no, apparently they didn't, um, right? Yeah, that's just like a random fire. It must have, uh, been a, a lightning strike in that storm. Okay, cool, it's just one dude. Probably should, uh, put those on the, like, do not touch marker <laughs> for now. Um, also, another thing he was talking to me about, he, he had this really cool, like, uh, kind of hallway of death built in his house, and along with that, he just had one entrance. So any raiders that would come would be forced into going to this one hallway that he had, and they would just die instantly once they went in there. So that that's another thing I would like to try to build, um, at least in my future. I don't know if I could just put sandbags around these, because I think raiders will attack them if they see them, um, which obviously wouldn't be very good for us. I don't know. Well, we'll have to plan things out as we move along, and, um, let's see, so should also start doing stuff so our guys actually have something to occupy themselves with. Holloway, you're the one with the gun. I have to remember that, because, uh, things are about to get a little bit intense with a firefight that's gonna start here in a bit. But let's go ahead and also build, uh, one more room. So we're... Actually, no, 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 I want to build the garden right here. But the gu uh, the gardens didn't seem to take too much room, so I'll, there'll be like one row there. I don't know how long the rows are though! Hmm. <laughs> Let's um, I want to cancel. Cancel you. This is weird. Let's just put in uh, metal flooring so our, our house will look nice. Uh, come on me. Stop messing around here. Metal flooring right there. Metal flooring 
in uh, these whole areas as well. I wish I could actually do that in one go. <laughs> so I wasn't messing up all over the place. What's happening here? We got foggy and rain. That's gonna mess with our batteries for a bit. Um, unless night is falling? I, th I think night is falling instead. Um, which uh, is perfectly fine in my opinion, actually. Oh shoot, our people are sleeping. Are you gonna strike in the dark? My friend enemy? I don't know. Well, what is your name? Copeland? Oh! Yep, he's uh, attacking at night. Okay, let's see. Let's put this to the normal speed. What I'm really gonna hope for, best outcome for us here, is that we won't kill this dude? Well, first off, best outcome would be that none of our people will, will die here. Holloway, how, uh... Eh, he's gotten enough rest. I'd, I'd feel comfortable with waking him up, which we probably should do... about... now. Holloway, get on out here! Take this dude down! But as I was saying, best case scenario, we don't kill this man, and does he even have a gun? I, I, I think he's unarmed. Yeah, he's just going to be punching at us while we'll shoot him. Or he's just going to run away. Oh no, he has a gun, okay. Holloway, you better be the better shot. Right now you're doing more damage to us than him, but... <laughs> there we go. He's, oh, you shot right at his feet! You're like trying trying to do the, the dance, fool dance thing! <gasps> he's been incapacitated. Yes! Okay. As I was saying, this is like the best case scenario for us, because now we can make him our prisoner. We're gonna capture this guy. Capture Copeland. And when we capture him, we're gonna put him into this little prison room right here, and then we can actually do a number of things. We can murder him, we can beat him. Beating him will basically show an example of him, so other prisoners will, uh... Um... W won't react, uh... But so other prisoners will be more submissive, basically. And, uh, can, can I take this off of him? Oh, no, I can't! You t <laughs> capture him! Um, hopefully that's something that'll be fixed in the future, that they'll, if, if you press R, they'll continue doing whatever task you assign them to doing. But honestly, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if it doesn't uh, turn out that way. You can also pick up this pistol, too. I've everyone trained for firearms, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. No one's a master at it, too, but that's that's perfectly fine. I totally forgot to change this person to growing and plant cutting. That's a foolish mistake on my part. I also forgot to set my timer, so we're actually good. Just go <laughs> let, let things sit here for a bit. Um, sorry about that. Let me just see. You guys could tell me how long we've been going, right? Just uh. Send me a message, send a message to the past being like, Okay, Brendan, you've been going for five minutes, um, it's a, a, a pretty good, got another 25 minutes more, then you're done, and I'll be happy. Ah, okay, here we go. So here's the example, like, uh, if we select on the prisoner dude, he actually gets an extra tab labeled prisoner, and here's all the stuff that we get to do. We could try to recruit him, but that's not going to be very effective at all right now, because if we check his thoughts... Actually, his loyalty to us is surprisingly high for us having just shot him, like, this past night. <laughs> or, not even that, but he was trying to kill us this past night, and his loyalty is surprisingly high. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have our people give him a friendly chat, because then then that will make him happier, and then it'll increase our chances of being able to recruit that dude. And obviously, the more people we have on our team, the better. 100%. I don't really think there's, like, any situation where... Well, actually, there could be some some situations where you have too many people. Like, if you don't have enough food to feed everyone. I really feel like we should kill this bomb rat. Because I don't like him being in our house. But who knows? We'll, we'll mess with that in the future. Um, which is probably a really stupid idea, actually, come to think of it. Because if, if I, like, attacked him now, I could manage that while uh, waiting on it. He could go crazy and become a threat to me later on. Oh, man, I love tea. Oh, it's raining outside. That's lovely. I wonder how nice... Uh, I would... I, not how nice it would be to live on this planet, because obviously it would be pretty crummy in this situation. Just three people living together trying to survive for themselves. Eh, who knows, it might be exciting in some ways. <gasps> Uh-oh. 
is that marked on our home base thing? It is, uh, how do I, is that areas? Oh, it's orders. I always forget that. I don't have a home zone selected at all? I thought I did that in the last video. I guess I forgot. We really have to put out that fire, because that could cause us some real problems in the future. It's like right next to our whole forest area. Good job, Francisco? No, Franco. Good job, Franco, getting all those materials for me. Um, research finished! Oh, yeah! Okay, now we're gonna do hydroponics. That should be very good for us. Especially once we finish that, we could get our, our plant, um, our indoor farming setup going on in here. And from, uh, a good friend of the channel, Tentacle Fan again, from what I saw of his map, he said that his food supply was really good, and he just had like three or four rows of those things. So, that sounds pretty nice, <laughs> to say the least. Let's see, so... I probably should be thinking of the overarching future designs for our house. And, um, man, this research is going really quick. The good news is, oh, man, our batteries are full. That's very good news. Let's, um, you know what? Here's one thing that I saw him do. He had, like, a battery room, and I think that would look pretty nice. So maybe we should make this a battery room right here. We could make it a battery room, then have an equipment room down there? I don't know. The batteries should attack di uh, attach directly to the wall, I, I presume. So I think that should be fine. Hopefully this rat will never go mad and he'll just be like our friend for all of life. All of life and eternity. We can be buddies. Oh, well, let's just go ahead and, and build a... Uh, Oh, wait, 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 I probably shouldn't build any metal flooring there, because I don't know if we it's required for us to have dirt or, or even grass to build the, the farm, the hydroponics farm. So we should we should wait on that. So you know what, Let, let's, let's just go ahead and dig into this wall some more. I, I think that would be perfectly fine. The farther into this... Uh, mountainside or our house goes honestly the happier i would be i think that would be a really cool design for our house so do i want definitely want to mark that bit right there and honestly maybe we'll even mark in like that far we could oh shoot i forgot the bit at the bottom it looks a little ugly there we go that means uh franco's gonna be out commissioned for a while but that mining goes really fast with those things, so that's not much of a worry. Oh, and here Fowler is, like, talking to, uh, Copeland. Trying to make him a happier man. How, how happy are you, Copeland? Your thoughts? Uh, he's getting there. Getting there fast, too, actually. That's awesome. Too bad his fear isn't going down. He's still pretty scared to be here, even though he's getting a lot happier and a lot more loyal. Before too long, we'll probably be, uh... At the spot where I'd like to be to recruit him. Look at how fast this mining is going! It's going way faster than I thought it would go. Which is super, super cool. Let's put a... Yeah, we don't need to stop time for this necessarily. Let's put a, another lamp right here. Uh, a standing lamp. Right there, that should look nice. Then I could put a... Like a long t Uh oh, uh oh! I heard a fire. For sure. Anywhere nearby. Doesn't appear so. These thunderstorms, I actually kind of like them. Because they they give us, like, momentary huge uh, boosts of energy. We actually really should build some batteries. Let's make a battery, uh, a couple batteries right down here. Um, main reason I'm doing this is just because these are full, you know? If, if those are full, we might as well start uh, um, packing up some more. Yeah, we can make this just like a battery room. I think that'll work really fine. Um, oh no, they're sleeping! That sucks. Oh man, this dude... If this is a like a movie, I, I feel like this dude is like, since he's the only one awake, he's either like sta walking around being like, What have I done with my life? Have I made the right choices? These people seem so kind and I was just about to kill them moments ago. Or he could be, like, scheming. He could be like, Yes, those fools, they're all sleeping out there, but soon they'll... 
Soon I'll, I'll kill them all and I'll be on top of the world. This wall is deteriora deteriorating right behind my bed. It's my secret way out. Eventually it will break and then I'll get out like the great escape or something. The evil, the evil mind of Copeland. Let's see. Oh, he's getting kind of hungry. Oh, but he is so loyal. Let's try to recruit him. I think, uh, yeah, Fowler's talking to him right now. Maybe he'll succeed if everything goes well. He's still really hungry. Dude, eat something. You've got food right there. Wait, what? Is that the squirrel? Is that a new squirrel? What's this? <gasps> a roof has collapsed. Oh, shoot. That's something I gotta worry about. If only that killed that bomb rat. That would have made me happy. <laughs> oh, don't walk under there. Francisco? It's a dangerous place. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Let me think. How do I want to set up this battery room? I kind of want to sell this one right now so I could set up the room a bit differently, but... but I'll, I'll think about it because I'm going to have the wall go right there, door right there. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's, um, we put one right there. Yeah! Yeah, I think this will be fine. Uh, we actually totally should mine out this section right here, um, as well. Because we need a wall lining that sec- Oh, no, 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 no! I am 100% wrong. We don't need a wall lining that section because this is going to um, provide the wall. Us uh, branching out this portion right there. So so let's actually do that right now. Let's see. Um, I always forget where all these things are. It is in structures. Structures for that. So that'll go... Yeah. One, two, right there. You go right there. Ah, there, that, that fixes that roof part that caved in as well. Um, then with that there, we can make another row of batteries going down. That's that's perfectly fine. I like this a lot. Where is the, the batteries? Oh, batteries, where art thou? Whoa, what, what is this? <gasps> <gasps> we found a steam geyser! Okay. That's awesome. We're gonna have one of those in our base now, then. I like that a lot. You're not our person yet. No, he's not. That's unfortunate. Hopefully we're still recruiting him, though. It looks like it, because Fowler's chatting it up with the, the good sir. Oh, shoot. Raiders have landed nearby. They will prepare for a while. Let's see. How many of them? Looks like two of them, unless multiple people can be in the pods. I don't know if multiple people can be in the pod. Oh, shoot. They're relatively close. Let me see. Um, luckily two of us have guns, so we should be able to handle them a-okay. What I think is going to happen later on is we honestly might just move all of this. We'll either move all of these supplies, or we'll close off these two doors right here and make an ex external area right here that'll be like a, a, a death trap for any raiders that come by. Really, I think most of all, though, I would prefer to clear out this area. Obviously, that would really suck since I've already kind of set it all up, but I would prefer to put it all in this mountainside right here. Um, because this looks like it would be a really good corridor. Uh, so at least if I took everything out, put a bunch of turrets and sandbags in here, it would look very reminiscent of the one that Tentacle Fan drew, and I, and I like that one a lot. Um... But obviously, I don't want to base everything off of someone else's work. Could be quite a scumbag in that way, I suppose. Let's see. Um, yes! Yes! Okay, so we recruited Copeland. Copeland will now be our squad mate right here. Which means, um... We'll actually probably still keep that prisoner bed. We do have four rooms for people, so... I mean, four beds for people, so we don't need to worry about that right now. And we'll keep that one for, uh, just in case we capture either of the other two. And, um, if we capture both of them, we could just pop in another prisoner bed right here and, and have two of them going at once. 
Let's actually, uh, no, don't do that. Let's cancel this project, just because I like to put down, um, I really hate it when I can't put flooring under things that are in my house. Like, this spot right here has a couple blocks, like, right here, right here, and right there that don't actually have any flooring. That's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine, so I want to try my best to put flooring wherever I can in this game. What is, uh, Copeland's skills? Uh... <laughs> What I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare to someone like you. Honestly, I think we just want Copeland to be a, um... Uh... He's just gonna work on, like, hauling, construction, repairing. He's gonna do the idle stuff. I don't want him to do growing or mining. Um, although some mining work would be nice, I suppose, but... But I really like having someone dedicated to picking all the stuff up that's kind of in the surrounding area. Um, yeah, I, I, I had him set to constructing. For a second there, I was like, what are you doing, my good sir? I didn't tell you to do that, but <laughs> I very clearly did. Um, Holloway, you're kind of far off. And you had a gun, right? Yeah, I want Holloway to be nearby. So once Holloway comes back, I might take control of him and just have him stand around idly. So, w wait. Okay, you don't have a gun. I'm alright with you leaving. Holloway, I gotta keep a good eye on you. Our research is almost done. That'll be super cool. Uh, and let's see. Oh no! He needs to finish that battery so those two will actually connect. So I could get power. Uh, will power transfer the through them like that? Uh, doesn't necessarily necessarily look like it. I think I need a wall lining the section right here, otherwise I don't think that's going to work. So let's build that right now. Wait, no, no, no. Power's definitely going through those. Okay. We'll wait on that wall then. Holloway, you're the one with the gun. And Fowler has a gun. Okay, cool. They're both here. Let's pause time again. I mean, uh, put time to normal so I make sure I don't lose those guys. Uh, I think there is a lot of certainty that we're going to have the raid attack at night. I don't know what they happen most frequently at night. It would make the most sense because the raiders would, um, you know, be planning to make a, a jump attack. But uh, they both are relatively weak at about 70% health, so I think we should be able to handle them fine. Mm. <sighs> but only time will tell, I suppose. Oh, of course those aren't getting energy. We, um... <laughs> it's night time. I'm so silly. Mm. You know what? I could probably fast forward time a bit more. I put At least put it on times two. We definitely need an equipment rack and a trading capacity. Um, or, a, or a way to, to communicate and trade with uh, other ships. As the game is telling me. I actually haven't done any trading in my time uh, in this game. I haven't done it at all in, in my playthrough that's like outside of this Let's Play. Or the couple of playthroughs that I've gone, done outside this Let's Play. But, um, like the... Oh, okay, here they come. Like, the farthest I've gotten is... Uh, no, play game. The farthest I've gotten in that regard is... Um, uh, why am I totally blanking here? Um is building the comm unit, but I actually haven't done anything with it, really. So let's see. They're closing in, slowly but surely. Once I get a little bit near, we'll actually start getting ready to deal with them. Like, this seems like a good enough time as any. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it's Fowler. <laughs> I was worried for a sec. Do you need to eat? Oof. Fowler will be able to get this job done before eating. I mean, um, Holloway will be able to get this job done before eating. Fowler, I'd like you to eat as quickly as possible, my friend. Actually, you hear Holloway getting here where you're safe for now. Okay, so this is interesting. These guys are kind of splitting up, which I think I like. Because then we can actually gang up on this first dude and take him out quick. So let's do that. Holloway. Take him down! Oh no, he got inside! <laughs> That's not good. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll change our plans then. Go go on both of them at the same time. Where is he? Where does he think he's going? Shoot him! 
Oh, we stunned him too. That's something that can happen. I I don't know what exactly the the odds or the percentages of stunning guys are, but it can be incredibly good for you, and also uh, as one would expect, unbelievably frustrating and damaging if if uh, you, you're the one who gets targeted. <laughs> oh, that's a rude awakening. Poor Franco. Here, Fra Franco, actually, why don't why don't you join in and help? You melee attack him. He's almost down, so... How, j how did Holloway miss? He shot right past her. What a big ding-dong. Oh, don't s fight him right in the line of fire. Nice! Oh, yeah! Let's, um... Fowler, since you have the gun, you'll go out and try to fight as well. While, uh, Franco, you go ahead and capture this mofo. Go ahead and capture him and bring him into the bed. This is awesome! Things, uh, have... Oh, we are... This is... I, I think this is an example of the flanking AI mechanic. Like, I think that lady went right there to try to get at, uh, some cover. But right now, we're going to flank her. Which is gonna suck, for obvious reasons. For, for her, not for me. Please don't even kill her. That'd make me really happy. Or she's just gonna stand there? That's interesting. If I do, um... Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, actually, that is... A uh, good piece of advice right now because I do need to change him to friendly chat instead of uh, no, no communication with him whatsoever. Guys, please just shoot her once more. <laughs> We're doing more damage to ourselves right now. A lot more damage to ourselves. Oh my god. You know, oh, she's dead. Okay. So, what we're going to want to do with our dead, um, actually, uh, both of you guys can go ahead to doing your own thing, and, uh, Francisco, you go ahead and take this gun, my good sir. A pistol will be a very good weapon for you to have. Before too long, though, we're going to want to bury this lady, otherwise our civilians will get, like, very upset about it. They'll be like, oh god... This dead body is here, like it's tragedy, oh, sadness, and and all that jazz. I'm pretty sure you can only put, like, the, the, uh, you can only put graves. Oh, you can put them in the desert. Okay, that's, that's easy. So let's, uh, let's put them uh, above our, our sandbags. I mean, um, where the sandbag line would go. For our solar panels. We'll, we'll build that right there, and we could have like a whole lineup going for once we start killing more people, and I, I think that should work really fine. Technically, I wouldn't say that that was the, the best case scenario for this. Obviously, best case scenario would be capturing both of them so we could get two more people in our squad, but really, given what happened there, I cannot complain at all. That was uh, very good. Are you... Uh, I thought I might have been in control of him since he was just standing there idly. Mm. Our research is almost done. That's really cool. And before long, I really, really should um start uh, moving stuff back. I should also totally mine out this area. Let's see. Um... How much room do we actually need for it? Let me check that first. Quite a bit, but that doesn't require us to mine out an enormous amount. But still, I think I am going to go ahead and mine out all of this, because we'll want to, like, build a, a home in that area in the future. There's our bomb rat friend again. I swear, eventually he's going to go, go, go mad and cause us a lot of problems, but we'll we'll see. Oh, wait, I think he's actually starving to death. Wait, but now he's regenerating health. I don't know. Mm. Hydroponics have been finished! Awesome. What do we want to pick after that? Uh, this minor one was really good, for sure. Um, turret cooling would be very effective, though, as well. That that would allow us to take out, uh, to take out enemies much more easily. What, what, these last three, I don't know too much. Actually, I do know carpets. Carpets are really good. Basically, uh, it allows you to build carpenets. Uh, carpenets? I don't even know what that is. It allows you to build carpets, which make your people happier. So that's definitely a good thing. Blasting charges. Allows building blasting charges. 
Uh, triggering explosives made to quickly reduce rock to rubble. I don't think that's necessary, because people are mining fast enough, and fear tech? I don't really know what this does. It's just a research to in inspire, like, fear in the hearts of men. So, like, <laughs> that's something um, I'll be very excited to check out later. But I think it would probably be best to... Let's get the turret cooling, because we'll want to build turrets before too long. That's going to take a hell of a lot, but that's okay. Then maybe we'll get the mining or the carpets. I think either way that would work out perfectly fine. So, um... Yeah, that research is gonna take forever, probably. But this is awesome! Um, I'm, I'm really happy where things are. It's going to be a pain in the caboose moving all this back, though. Honestly, we, we probably should start clearing out the doors, too. Hmm, I'm thinking about this. You know what, I, I think we're going to... We're, we're not going to get rid of these two doors until we're all set. Uh, until we're, like, going full force. We're, we're not going to get rid of these doors until we uh, devote ourselves towards making this our, our death corridor. For, for future reference. And let's see. This is probably going to be a plain night, so I, I feel comfortable with uh, going fast forward three for now. How many how many resources are still down here? Oh, unfortunately, that looks like that's the end of it. But, you know, we, we, got, we got a fair amount of metal from all that being at 400 right now. And uh, I, I, from my experience so far, I haven't seen... Uh... I, I haven't ever run into metal, like, deep within the mountain, which is unfortunate. But but who knows? I, I think there might always be... I, I haven't seen anything saying that you can never find metal in the mountain, so hopefully if we keep mining that out, we'll find some of that sooner rather than later really close uh, to our home base, and we could use that to, to great avail. Mm. Let's see. We should probably start building our... Um, new farming setup. Then we could actually s wait. Where is the stuff? Am I just? Oh nope, here it is, right here. I was a little bit worried there. Uh, let's wait. So there's. Let Let me pause for a sec while I think of this. So it's gonna go that far. Urgh. I might make this room a little bit smaller, like. Yeah, let's put... How do I want to do this? I might even make it too small. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Let me think. Yeah, this is a cool way to set it up. Okay, so we'll put one here, one right there, and another right there, and then... No! <laughs> I was wrong! I was oh so wrong. I thought it was uh, six spaces when it's only five. Well, that's gonna look really stupid. <sighs> we'll probably just leave it the way it is then, with with those three, and we won't include a, a fourth one. Hopefully three will be fine. What do we have here? Oh no, an eclipse! I hate eclipses! Oh! <laughs> I'm like turning into a monster right here. So let's put this metal in. And once that metal flooring is, we could put that wall right there. And and this eclipse isn't all that bad, because I think we should have more than enough power to keep us uh, supplied for a while. And then we could also put in this thermal generator before too long. Um, the eclipse probably should be over with before we put the thermal generator in and have a connecting source of power to it. But, uh, you'll never know for sure. And that's probably where something we're, uh, almost certainly gonna start in the next episode, since we're kind of closing in at that point right now. Um, let's see, how how is all this going? Awesome! It's building super nice. And it doesn't look like I have to mess with that at all. Let's see. Oh, wow! This provides... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this provides, um... 
Yeah, that was the health of it. Okay. Right now it's providing... Yeah, right now it's providing 85 food in total. Or is it... Oh, no. Each one of these potatoes has 85. Oh, the, the bomb rat fi finally died. A tragic end to the bomb rat. Okay. I, I think that's actually a perfect note. Our, our bomb rat friend is gone, unfortunately. We're building uh, an in indoor farm, which is awesome. Um... I, I, this definitely provides a lot more food by the looks of it right now, but we don't use most of what's there. And if this is a, a, a bad amount, we could always just build a second one. So, things are looking really good right now. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. They all really help the channel grow and reach a wider audience of people. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer! And I will see you all next time.